Welcome one, welcome all, my name is Tickle My Beans, and this is part one of my Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands playthrough, gameplay, let's play, whatever you want to call it. I'm not here to waste my time or your time, so let's jump right into this. I do have a slot already taken up. Uh, I started playing this, I started recording, but the sound was all messed up, and it, it was it was a mess. So here we go, starting a brand new game. I'm super excited. I hope you are too. I appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm going to run through this character customization as quickly as possible since I already know what I want to look like. Um, why is my guy all the way off to the left? That's not what he looked like before. He wasn't over there before. Alright. I guess I can deal. Dun, 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 dun. That's really kind of annoying. I literally, I can't even rotate my guy. Character customization in this is amazing, by the way. I'm pretty impressed with all the options you have available. Son of a gun. I don't remember what I picked the last time. Uh, I think I picked that. Okay, pick the Y strap. I want that to be black. I think that's it. Well, I didn't pick my gloves. Where's my gloves? Where's the gloves? There we go. Okay. Alright. I think that's it. So there's our first Ubisoft launch bug glitch, whatever you want to call it. Can't I, I, Normally the character's in the middle, but whatever. I'm not dealing with it. Uh, yeah, okay. Save character. Sure thing. Boom. Let's go. Regular. First cutscene. Yep. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Dude's looking the agent dope. murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't.
Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. Good one, dick. <clears throat> I heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. I want to play. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Oh yeah, this guy kills people. Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died. So you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataras 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amado is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Consider it done.
Got some pretty dope weapon customization going on here as well. I'm going to keep the regular load out here. I'm not even going to worry about changing camos right now. We'll get to that later. Skills are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not sure how this works, though. We'll get to that when we get to that. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this off, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Driving on this feels really weird. There's no civilians because they're dead meat. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Dead. One with submachine guns. One, two. And baby makes three. He makes five. Looks good. Now how do I do this sink shot? Ready, call the shot. Man, that could have been a lot cleaner. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later. That's a pretty cool idea. See, like, you tag supplies, all kinds of different supplies, and it's basically experience, and uh, I'm assuming that goes towards your, your skills and unlocks and stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, I thought that guy saw me. Try to get closer. Dead. I think there's only that guy in... Oh. Looks that way.
Get over here. Easy. Camine. Pinche cabron. That was fucking close. Nah. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. I'm assuming I can sneak up and take people out. Because if you can't, that would be dumb. Stay quiet. Yo no he hecho nada. Suéltame, güey. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Suéltame, cabrón. Si eres tan machi. Shut up. Okay. Let's get these supplies. Careful. Sicario sporting a submachine gun. Tell me where. Near the sandbag emplacement. All right. I definitely want to get on here. Okay, it's a document down here. Holy crap, let me spell. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run back to our vehicle and we're gonna Okay, we're still alright. Go below him. Yeah, I cleared that outpost. I'm assuming I don't need to do anything to, like, unlock it for anything or something. I don't know. I'm assuming that was all I needed to do up there. So the game feels good. Like, it feels really smooth. Um, I don't know, I'm liking it so far. I mean, I didn't get very far in the game, but it still feels pretty good. The driving is a little awkward to me. Uh, but it's not bad. Hang on, I'll drive. I've definitely Hola. had worse driving in other games. Many of you know me, and I am proud to call many of you. Let's probably tag that actually. Some of you close to me have told me of concerns about the cartel. Concerns that I know you all share. No. I respect you as much as the rest of you. I have my entire life. I have taught this respect oh my. for Pachamama to my children, and I will teach it to their children. Pachamama must keep in balance and harmony with the cosmos. And that is why I am happy that our country is working with Santa Blanca. This is I would hate to drive around here, man. As a bad driver. This Mexican organization, this Latin organization believes, as I do, Right, let's go, boys. Alright. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Tango number three. That's four. That looks like four guys. Could probably just grab this document without even being spotted. If you're a buchona like I am, your entire life people have called you bossy. Madonna. Sueño, the Sicarios have found the escaped prisoner in the village of Culta. What a wonderful name for a town. They were protecting him. Skill point. The village is known to Unidad as a haven for rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? Kill them all. The whole village. Visit Divine oh. Path upon Culta and wipe it off the face Hang of the back. earth. That tango Pero, you. Al rato. Uh oh. Oh, he's inside. Okay. But people who are satisfied with the Sicarios who don't act bossy, even if they don't like the word, they don't get what they fucking want. 
Yankees history. Okay, he said. Did you guys get him or not? They know we're here. Ah, oh, shh. That was really bad. My bad, guys. That's a kill. We're clear on this side. Okay, so that was extremely poorly executed stealth. But we got done what we needed to get done. That's all that matters. I'd probably be dead in real life, though. Okay. We got a skill point available. Let's see what we got here. Weapon. Stable aim. Hip fire spread. Add stability while using sniper scope. Reduces bullets from the fire weapon to stop aiming. Low light. I'm not really feeling any of the ones available. Quiet running. Texan. See, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on this category for now. All right, let's get stamina. All right, cool. All right, what's next? No. There's like so many things to do other than just going and doing the main mission. Let's go there, let's see what that does. Uh, I wanna get that bike. I'm gonna try this bike over here. Oh man, it looks dope. I've got the bike. Let's go, boys. Oh! Okay, um... This is hard. Okay, yeah, I suck. Sorry for <laughs> jamming up the traffic. I'm gonna die. I wonder if like every enemy attacks you on sight. I'm assuming they probably do. <laughs> Saved it. Oh, <laughs> so bad. Okay, I don't know what's up here exactly. Does that mean I found this then? I don't think there's any bad guys up here. Bad guy, it's not like a five year old. Oh. We got a loadout. Okay. What did I just do? Oh, I'll put your weapons away. Okay, cool. Holding Y puts your weapons away. I didn't realize that. Cool. So you can change your appearance at any time. Um, that's awesome. 
There's so many camos to pick from. So many awesome camos too. I really like this one, this jungle netting. Looks so dope. I'm gonna put that on all of them. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. Ghost team, ally faction, enemy faction, two enemy factions. All right. Cool. Can you drive the tractor? This is going to make or break the game, guys. Oh! <laughs> yep, you can drive the tractor. Game of the year. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. All right, cool. So we did our first mission, I guess, kind of. Not really a full mission, I guess. But we did our first mission. We got our first skill point. I guess you could say unlock the first waypoint. I guess you can fast travel between these. Can you? Yeah, it looks... Can you? Because you can fast travel to that one. That's where we started. I'm assuming that means you can fast travel there. Yeah, you can. Hold A to fast travel. Okay, cool. And it tells you there are three weapon cases, five accessory cases, whatever they are, eight skill points, and two bonus medals to be found in this province. I guess province is everything inside this yellow lining, I'm assuming. We'll go with that. All right, so I think we're going to end it there. Um, seems like a good place to stop the part one. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, if you want to continue watching the rest of these gameplays, other gameplays, check out some of the music that I also do on the side. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, and again, I, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.